Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here. <clears throat> you know, I've been thinking about continuously freedom for all of us as human beings. I've been thinking about living our dreams, all of us as human beings, something we've never done since we've been on this earth. And so it kind of very important to me that when I understand what we as a people have been through, through the various locations and, and associations, we've had, everybody has been in slavery, I've heard, and everybody's kept somebody slay, enslaved, whether it's their own or others. <clears throat> and they had what they call at the time justifiable reasons. And be that as it may, I'm telling you today, we have no justifiable reasons. Because one is here to give you the information that comes from the one who is responsible for peace, that is responsible for prosperity and freedom and joy and happiness and dreams coming true. And that is that I want to say to every human being, especially in America, I'm going to start here. We must have a fresh beginning, just as fresh as it was in 1700s. We must have a fresh beginning, a beginning that respects and honors people, every last one of them. So what I'm saying that we as human beings must make sure that the head, that the head of every family got a job. Now, the intent is that every individual have a job in this country. That means mothers raising your kids, that's a job. Taking care of your house, that's a job. Whatever you're doing that further <clears throat> to make this a better society is a job. And every individual that benefits from anything in the society must play a role in the process of causing a manifestation of enough of that so that every one of us can benefit from it. Now, black people, don't trust politicians. Politicians don't give a damn about you and they're not thinking about you when they make policy. They're making policy by people who got money, who are paying them to make sure that you stay enslaved. That goes for you poor white folks too. Not just people of color, but you poor white folks too. Many people with money are paying politicians. These millionaires and billionaires are paying politicians to make rules and regulations that keep you in the, in the shit house. That's exactly where we are in relationship to where we should be. So I'm saying to all people of color, we cannot continue as business as usual. There's no way we can go into 25, 2025 with people unemployed. And we must have employment that allows us to access whatever it is that we need, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, and all other stuff. That's the kind of job we must have. And you must change the system in, so it, in, in such a way that it will accommodate that. So if you've got people who are out here owning all the oil, owning all of this and all of that, and they are saying we, then we must confiscate that. What do I mean by confiscate? We must be looking after all of our people, not just some of them, not just the ones who are doggish, not just the ones who are narcissistic, not just the ones who bullies and just want to run over people. No, we as a people, one person representing all people and all people standing up for one person. This is, must be the new America. We must not allow people to take advantage of us. How you feel, black people, when you look at pictures and see white folks beating the shit out of you with those whips and stuff, taking your family, setting them up. They, you gonna trust them? They're down in Florida right now, down in Texas right now, down in Alabama, in Alabama trying to keep up those same policies that kick them, that makes them feel that they're superior to others. I want you to know that God says if you are a child of God, stand up and be a child of God and stop letting people stick sticks up your butt. Demand that they treat you just and you make sure that you treat them just. And that means everybody got a gig Everybody's working. Nobody's superior to another. We are all doing what is required for us to do to make sure that we can experience this life as though we're living in heaven. And we're not listening to no damn ass man trying to tell us who is important and who's not. And women, ain't no men got no business telling you if you can have an abortion or not. What business do they have? If they don't want you to have an abortion, make sure that they don't have sex. Make sure that a man don't have any sex with you. See how long this will go.
Well, I had a little frustration there. I wanted to say something to you, ladies and gentlemen, so I said it. I'm going to leave it there. Until next time, Eddie Mark is saying goodbye for now. <laughs>